by that. <laughs> but you look lovely. Thanks. It's a good problem to have. <laughs> there are worse problems. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're good. So talk about, first of all, how, just how your life is. You know, I saw you at Comic-Con, and that was yeah, nuts. It was insane. We'll talk about some of your other co-stars, but for you too, it must have been amazing, all those people screaming and everything going on. And it was incredible. Um, I mean, first of all, I got to stay away from the um, hormonal side of it. Yeah. That was it. I'm just caught on my uh -oh. thing here. See, I, this is why I wear jeans and t-shirts all the time, because then your, you know, custom-made gold bracelet doesn't get stuck on your wow. beaded dress. But anyway, um, yeah, no, the thing that I, I found easiest about Comic-Con was not having to be on the hormonal side of it, um, because, you know, Rob and, and Cam and, and Taylor and Eddie got all that. Um, but it was pretty amazing to have girls come up to you so open and just be like, I think you're going to be a great Victoria, or ask you about, ask me about my hair and how do you get it that way, and do you have any tips for me? And like the whole experience was just so, um, it was so one on one with fans. It was amazing. They're very fervent about knowing when the, when the casting came on, who's playing who. Uh, oh and, yeah, they want to yeah. know everything, everything yeah. about your life and about your the character and about you know your approach, and they just they drink it all up. What what have you seen online in terms of what people have said about you playing the character and? What are you going to be like? And have you, have you paid attention to any of that stuff? Uh, yeah, I, the only things, my friends like to send me the funny ones, you yeah. know? So I got, um, there was one I ended up uh, looking at that was a photo of me that somebody had photoshopped. And they, you know, made my eyebrows more pointy and they reddened my hair and they, you know, made my expression a little, I mean, it kind of looked like a cross between, you know, me, Dr. Spock, and a cat. <laughs> um, but I guess they were trying to make me look sort of mean and feline, like Victoria. Um, and then the other one I really liked was someone who uh, had my headshot and said she doesn't look mean enough to play Victoria. <laughs> well, I've spent I actually until, liked that one. Well, I've spent until maybe 10 minutes with you now total. And... For, you know, obviously you're a great actress to pull off what I know this character <laughs> is about compared, right. to what, compared to what you really like. Talk about getting into that mode and digging in and, and what that was like for you. Um, I think it was more the, I think my main approach was that um, if Catherine had wanted something that was more um, truly menacing, if she wanted something truly menacing, I think I just like spit. I don't know what happened there and that was I don't think classy. It <laughs> You can leave that in, we'll I don't leave. care, we're all human. Yeah. Um, I think the thing about my approach um, was uh, that if Catherine had wanted somebody more um, ferocious, truly evil, a sort of badass, I think she would have gone that way, and she cast me. And I thought, well, there's gotta be something then that when I walked into the room, she liked. There has to be something about me, and what would that be? What could I bring to it? And the thing that I really found was a sort of a playfulness you know, and I thought, well, if someone is playful and enjoying being sinister, that's almost creepier than just being straight, you know? Mm -hmm. um, and so I sort of went with that, and so that's how I brought myself to it. And what's that like day-to-day, -day, being playfully sinister? Is that a, is that a kind of a kick? It was amazing. It was amazing. I, I know I've said this before <laughs> in interviews, but I'm Canadian, and we're so polite. <laughs> like, you know, we're very, like, uh, we're a friendly nation. Um, and so it was really nice to give myself permission to just, you know, every impulse. And, you know, sometimes I even went too far and they'd go, okay, you know, take it back a little. And then sometimes they, you know, Catherine would push me more. Um, and it was a really fun uh, push-pull between my, my demons and my better angels. Mm -hmm. Without getting too specific, some people haven't read the books, but just yeah. be able to list just a few of the wild, horrible things that you get to do in this. In this in this movie. Um, well, basically, um, when uh, my character comes into the film with James and Laurent, and with the three evil nomadic vampires, when we come in, Edward and Bella are already trying to figure out how to be together, and they already are dealing with some pretty sinister impulses, particularly Edward wanting to drink her blood. Um, and when we come into it, we begin to terrorize them, and Edward tries to to save her from us, and so we chase them. So there's a kind of a I think the scariest part of the threat is that we're always just behind, and you know, always just on the trail, and mm -hmm. so they never get to relax. Um, and so always having to look across around your shoulder is a really creepy, sort of intense feeling. Yeah. For them, I got to be the chaser, so yeah. I enjoyed it. How much do you enjoy a day like today when you get to wear the dress and, and have the custom gold bracelet? How much fun is that kind of thing? Um, it, don't get me wrong, it's a, um, it's a charmed life. I'm totally blessed and it is amazing and I, I don't normally look like this, but it's also really bizarre um, because I sort of feel like those are photos of somebody else and and they're sort of directing you and they're, you know, look pretty and you're like, I'm in a nice dress, but I don't feel pretty. I feel sort of like an amateur um, at this and it, I definitely have a newfound respect for the models who make it look easy and make it look... Uh, We'll make it look pretty. <laughs>
But seeing yourself now in, in this magazine, all the other things I'll be doing now between now and probably December, what's that like for you when you're going to, you know, open up a magazine and there you are, look at the cover of a magazine and there you are. Are, are your family and friends, what are they telling you? How much fun is that? It's whole incredible. Thing? I mean, it's kind of like this thing where, like, I was sort of, um, it's really as cheesy as I was a little girl with a dream. <laughs> you know, it really is kind of like that. It's like, oh my God, and now I'm in a magazine. And, you know, my hair doesn't normally look like that, and it's all ethereal, and they airbrush you, and your friends call you, and they sell you on the magazine stand. And, I mean, it's totally surreal. Uh, and definitely and definitely part of, you know, what I had hoped for my career. Mm -hmm. I definitely wanted to be able to have experiences mm -hmm. like this. Well, you worked very hard to get to this place, obviously. Yeah. Now that this, is, this has happened, have you thought about what this can bring, what the next year can bring, what other projects, and what doors are going to open from this movie? Um, I find that there's... There's so many people around me who are doing that. There's so many people who are like, you know, mapping out kind of my life for me. And um, so I sort of decided that there were enough people concerned with my future and that meant that I got to just enjoy the moment. So, you know, I'm here doing a photo shoot for H Magazine, that's where I am today. Mm -hmm. And if I'm somewhere else tomorrow, that's where I'll be tomorrow. Uh, and other than that, I'm trying to really just enjoy it because I don't want to be always looking ahead and then turn around and realize I missed it. Mm -hmm. Is that, is that easy for you to do, or is that something you have to do? It's much easier now. Yeah. It's much easier now. I definitely had to, um, it's definitely something I had to work hard on. In the beginning, it's really easy to get really wrapped up. I understand how a lot of young people who get into it get so caught up in newfound, um, you know, I don't know, open doors and excitement, and it, it definitely requires um, attentiveness, I think. You definitely have to make an effort to breathe and just go, okay, I'm going to put one foot in front of the other, and mm -hmm. I'm not going to go... You know, I was going to say bat crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I won't swear on camera, but yeah. How often do you go home to, to Canada and have that home life and come back to Hollywood? What's your life like these days in terms of... Um, I definitely try and make it back to Montreal at least once a year. Um, I make it back to Montreal at least once a year, and um, I'm trying to do a Canadian project every year, which for the last three years has actually been working out. Uh, so I've been to Toronto, I was filming in Calgary, uh, so yeah, I try to get home to Canada. Mm -hmm. But basically I really feel like, um, I guess I have a bit of a gypsy heart, yeah. and I feel like wherever my bags are, that's where home is, and mm -hmm. right now it's LA. Yeah. Um, I do a funny thing that people comment on when we're on set, that if I'll be on set, I'm on location, I'm headed back to the hotel, somebody says, where are you going? I go, I'm going home. <laughs> and it's a bizarre, it's a bizarre sort of nomenclature, but mm -hmm. I guess that's just how I feel. What do you do when you're not shooting a movie, when you have a day off, you're between projects, what do you like, how do you like to spend your time? Um, well, I definitely have to work out all the time because I consider that part of work. Um, so I go to Barry's boot camp and I do yoga. Uh, I read a lot. Um, the Newsweeks kind of pile up while I'm working and yeah. I try and get back to them. Um, I love hiking. I'm basically a homebody, though. Yeah, I watch a lot of movies, <laughs> see a lot of movies, and uh, right now, because it's summer, I'm really heavy on So You Think You Can Dance. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I do you it. dance yourself? Are you a dancer? No, yeah. no, not a, I'm, I'm so, I could not be more spastic. Yeah. yeah, I actually once did a screen test for, um, for a dance movie. I made it as far as the screen test, and then they had a choreographer come in, and you had to learn the actual dance and perform, and I told them that's where I lost the job. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't do it. We're talking about this Twilight family, you guys are spending a lot of time together, obviously, talking about the movie and doing shoots for the movie between now and, and yeah. opening. What, what's that like, spending so much time with these Jesus, people? Jesus, there's no getting away from these <laughs> people. It's like, um, no, I mean, it, it's, it's awesome. And, like, Ashley and I um, didn't really have, uh, we had a couple of scenes together in the movie, I think, uh, maybe one sort of, elongated scene, mm -hmm. but other than that, I didn't really work with her so much, and so this is amazing to be able to come here to the photo shoot, and, you know, uh, and then there was a group of us at Comic-Con, and that was a different group, mm -hmm. and then, you know, I think there's something else a couple weeks from now with somebody else, and so it's actually really cool. We're a huge cast, so it's nice to play musical chairs. Yeah, yeah. And what are your hopes and dreams for this movie, and what you hope people, people who don't know Twilight, it's obviously going to be great for the fans, people that don't know Twilight yet, what do you hope they know about this or take away from the, from the movie? Um, well, first of all, obviously, I really hope that people like the movie. Um, but the second thing is, I hope that for people who haven't read the books, if they see the movie and they love the movie, that they'll then go and read the books. Mm -hmm. um, because as much as we've created the world, Stephanie's book is 650 pages, and our script is, you know, 100 and something pages. Mm -hmm. um, and there's so much more to get out of it. So I think if you love it, definitely exploring both part of that, that world is, is something mm -hmm. I hope for the audience. Very cool. Thank you. Cool. Pleasure talking to you. Thanks very much.